Thomas comes to dinner. For the past few months, Thomas had been working to help build a new restaurant on Sodor. After many months of hard work, construction was finally completed. It's a very fancy restaurant, owned by a famous chef named Gordon Ramsay. The restaurant looks amazing from the outside. It'll probably look even better from the inside. Why, hello there, little Thomas. I've just arrived with some of the most important people on the island. Sir Topham Hatt, Lady Hatt, Dowager Hatt, Mr. Percival, the Mayor, Alicia Botti, and also the new restaurant owner. They've all been invited for a very special dinner for the opening later today. Whoa! Really? Where are they? You chose a great place to have your restaurant. You know I'm somewhat of a food critic myself. Yeah, I can tell. Pardon me? I would really like to go inside this restaurant and see what it's like. It's probably beautiful. I heard it has Michelin stars. Yes, indeed. Seven of them. <laughs> <sighs> Thomas was sitting in front of the restaurant. Some school children were on a field trip to visit the restaurant. However, since the restaurant had way too many guests, they had to wait outside. All Thomas could do was stare at the blank wall in front of him. Okay, children, it's time to go inside now. Everyone follow me in a single file line, said the teacher. Thomas's driver left Thomas alone so he could grab a bite to eat and followed the children inside the restaurant. Except for one. He snuck into Thomas's cab and was fiddling with the controls. Excuse me, who's that in there? The child just giggled cheekily. Get out of my cab this instant, young man! If you're not careful, you could... But it was too late. Thomas was sent rolling helplessly towards the restaurant. Oh no, not again! Look out! Smash! Went the wall as Thomas was once again poking out of the wall. All the diners stared blankly at Thomas. Thomas, what are you doing? said Sir Topham Hatt while getting up from his table and wiping his mouth with a napkin. I know you wanted to see inside the restaurant, but this is not the way to do it. It's not my fault, sir. There was a child who jumped into my cab and I can't control myself. Just then, Chef Ramsay ran out of the kitchen to see what the commotion was. Oh no! What is this? What have you done, Sir Topham Donkey? I'm very sorry about this. I, I will be able to pay for the damage. Are you better? Or you'll be washing dishes. Oh, right. Oh, God. Dear me. What am I going to do with this hole in the wall? The teacher soon scolded the boy for what he had done. You have lost the privilege of coming on to field trips till I say so. And Gordon came to Thomas's rescue and pulled him out of the wreckage. So, I bet you did get to see the inside after all, Thomas. Well, certainly not how I expected to see it. <laughs> hmm. This gives me an idea. A new extension had been built for the restaurant. There was an opening right where Thomas crashed, with rails and buffers, so Thomas could puff inside and look around through the glass. And he loved it! and the diners loved seeing the different types of engines puffing in. And Thomas couldn't contain his smile. Neither could Chef Ramsay.